welcome ladies and gentlemen back to another episode of scrap mechanic survival and i got a lot of updates for you but uh the main point of this episode is going to be uh tree harvesting i've never really built something that is designed to harvest trees chopping down trees breaking them down sawing them down into their wooden components and the reason why we're going to be doing that is because we need wood like a lot of wood so i'm gonna hopefully i having never done this before i'm probably gonna fail my first try or so but i want to create a machine that's going to be able to harvest trees at a pretty decent rate but let me show you why i've pretty much used all of my basic draggable materials like everything just trying to set up the basic foundation of our new area you may remember if you were here last time uh we had moved from our old mechanic station to a brand new independent area which is actually even better than i thought it was like i got a lot of stuff to show you in this episode i spent like five hours this morning just uh mining harvesting and just getting materials in preparation to just have something prepared for today basically and then i realized i need to do more wood harvesting i don't even have a wood harvester so that's why we're going to be focusing on that today but first updates what have i done here since the last video uh you may notice that we have a farm now and the farm is completely out of concrete i used all of my concrete and more on the farm i actually went and i got five chests of chemicals which took a long time like i did it all in one go too i just sat there and waited for the chests to fill up but our farm is now twice as big instead of a hundred plots it is actually 200 plots each one of these sections is 50 and actually the reason why i divided it up is because now things are symmetrical when it comes to the watering system and we have two watering systems now and i actually ran out of soil i need to fill this one with soil but we have two watering systems and uh they are divided into each watering system does a plot of 50 or each cannon does a plot of 50. so check this out when i press this button look at this look at this it is so good it will water all 200 plots this one is obviously there's not actually 200 plots of soil yet but that is set up for when there is 200 plots of soil and it works it works perfect the couple times that i've tried it but i am not ready to be planting yet i uh we have no defenses right now we are not able to defend against raids however the devs did just uh, uh, release a patch saying that they optimized raids a bit so raids may not be as laggy now than they used to be but i think it's going to be a while before we're ready for raids because i want to build my whole bouncy castle system again up here and that's what this is marking i was just marking off like where i wanted my farm to be behind so I put my farm over here and was able to expand it to expand it to four plots of 50. Um, so then my eventual goal, I was like, so then what do I do with my vehicles? I kept my vehicles up here and they just kept slipping very, very slowly across the ground because it's not level. This ground is not level. So that made things a little bit uncomfortable for me because they just kept sliding into the water and stuff. So I thought I just need some flat areas to park my vehicles. So my eventual goal is to basically build a giant u-shaped base so that way uh when we do our harvesting and our whatever we're bringing back we can essentially drive in drop stuff off and then without having to turn around or back out we can just u-turn uh or just do a, a a long u all the way around our farm and then just come back out forward the other side so over here this is pretty much identical to what i had back in my other mechanic station but uh, this is not going to be the official location. The official location is probably going to be on a second floor above here, just like we had in the mechanic station. And we can drive our vehicles underneath it. And then we can have that hole in the top where we can bring things up to the second floor, which will be for crafting. And you can see I have this attached on one block here, meaning that this entire thing should be detachable and I can weld it as a single unit, I hope. I hope that's how it works. I hope I can just take all of this and then just weld it somewhere else and it'll all still be together. I have not tested that and I don't want to mess it up while I still have it functional. So in the meantime, I've actually been crafting a bunch of tier three metals. So you can see I got a decent amount of tier three metal here. I also have some of my inventory because this new um, tree harvesting, tree logging machine, I'm just going to make it out of metal because I ran out of wood. I ran out of concrete. 
I ran out of pretty much everything else. As you can see, check out check out this walkway. I ran out ran out of my concrete here, so I'm like, okay, I have a ton of brick left from my old farm. So I'll fill it in with brick because this needs to be too wide to hold my vehicles. And then I ran out of brick and I'm like, okay, the stuff I used in my mechanic station, I actually didn't even get to fill it in up here. I'm just going to use that stuff, the uh, sheet metal or whatever, the, I forget what it's called, but I'm going to use that. And then I ran out of that. And so then I used the rusted version of that. And then I ran out of that. So then I used some nets and then I ran out of nets. And then I had a little bit more concrete crafting. So I took that. <laughs> it's just patchy all over the place. So the eventual goal is to replace all of that with wood. I want this to be entirely wood, and that is a lot of material, as you can see. It just used up everything. I also have a uh, another cow farm over here because I needed some more milk, so I've been farming a little bit of milk. But these cows, I used to have four in here, and the cows keep both multiplying and escaping. I don't understand, and I've made this taller. I've made the edge taller. I've made it a bigger area so that maybe they wouldn't get like glitched through or whatever. But nope, they just keep escaping no matter what. But it seems like cows attract cows because there were no cows here before. With the entire time I was building my base, I went out over there and brought some back. And now a bunch of other cows are appearing nearby. So that seems like a thing. Some things I've learned about this place, and it is, it is really, really awesome. There, there are dozens of corn just around this area, not even having to go as far as that tower right there. Like you can see, there's some corn right there. I think I saw some corn over here somewhere. Maybe not. We got some beeswax right over there. We have paint uh, flowers all around us. I can get like 50 corn just in this one area. I actually shouldn't have done that because my inventory is pretty much full. But we got this one right in front of our farm. But check this out. This is this is one of my favorite parts right over here. I didn't know about this until today. You ready for this? Look at what I have. Look at what I have right next to my farm. I have the jackpot of beeswax right here. So if I ever need to make wheels or anything that requires beeswax, I do not have to go far at all, and I'm already full here. So yeah, we've got corn for days. We've got beeswax for days. We've got flowers for days. We've got water with oil for days, clams for days. Like, we've got resources. This is this was the spot. This, this was definitely the spot. All right, so if you can tell by my inventory, we are ready to start building another vehicle. So this is gonna be our fifth vehicle that we're building, but our fourth vehicle that we are gonna have in present because I deleted my other scout vehicle. Look at all these cows, what are they doing? Should have brought some of that corn back. You know what, I'm gonna get some corn. Let's, let's, let's make some milk right now. So you may notice I have a tree chopped down right here. Uh, that's because I was doing some testing, not with saw blades, but just with my hammer because I wanted to understand how trees work for this episode and I think I've come up with a strategy for how I'm going to use the saws I just don't know if they're going to work and actually now that I'm looking I think different trees might behave differently if a tree has a stump that that's going to be a good thing right here let's uh, go ahead and feed our cows there you go eat up everybody eat up what's wrong with you why can't you walk <laughs> get it walk <laughs> that's never going to get old Actually, it's already old. Never mind. All right. Well, without further ado, let's get building. Um, this is going to take a long time. I feel like this is going to be a lot of trial and error. So what I'm thinking about doing is uh, I've seen some people use the method where they lay the tree down on their vehicle and they have like a whole row of saw blades that just kind of like eats up the tree. I don't know if I want to do that method because I don't know if you can reliably predict how tall a tree is going to be and then like what happens if it's on the ground or whatever. So what I want to try to do is make a system that can hold a tree upright and then slowly feed the tree down into a saw. And that way it doesn't matter how tall the tree is. It's just always going to go down into one point and then just get hopefully annihilated into its parts and then I'll have a um a resource container to just pick it up while it's doing that I don't know I don't really I really don't know if this is gonna work I'm just hoping that this is a viable idea so like I said we're gonna be building this out of tier three metal so let's get building all right so I think I've built the basic frame of it I hope this isn't too small um I think I'm really going to need I don't know how heavy trees are but I think I'm really going to need some weight in the back so I'm actually going to delete this concrete thing right here and just add all of this concrete 
to the back of my vehicle. Because concrete, I'm pretty sure, has better weight than the tier 3 metal. So concrete is... Looks like seven, and then this is five. Yeah, so concrete should be better on the back of our vehicle here. So that should do a good job of weighing down the back of our vehicle compared to the front. Uh, hopefully it's enough to offset the weight of a tree. Uh, if not, then we can put some resource collectors back there that might help. All right, so the easy part is done, and now it is time for the, oh no, the hard part. I need lighter material. Um, wait, I think I have some net. I think net might be good for this. I think I still do have some net left. Yeah, I was gonna use the net for the the bounce castle thing. So I had it I had it right here, but I'm gonna use some of the excess net that I have to build the th whatever I'm gonna be building here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna save the bigger trees for later and I'm gonna go with a smaller tree for now, like this tree to test on. Man, this is gonna be such a process. I'm just trying to think about the mechanism for this. All right, well, I gotta try to build the mechanism first anyway. I hope I have all the materials I even need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a prototype here and I, I had these this grand idea in my head about how it was going to work. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's gonna work the way that I'm hoping it's going to work. I really, I don't think it's gonna happen, but we might be able to get something going on. So I'm gonna try, Oh, I didn't realize some of these trees have like weird branches hanging off. I wonder how that's going to affect things. All right, so the goal is we grab the tree first, just like that. So now, um, oh, I didn't hook up this switch yet. All right, so now we can activate our saw blades and then I press number one and it should go for the stump. Okay, that didn't quite, okay, okay. No, 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 this is good, this is good, this is good. Now we turn the blades up like that and now uh now this isn't gonna work anymore the the idea uh the idea is that the tree was supposed to slowly go down it, um what is okay all right it's not working it's it was supposed to slide down it was supposed to slide down into the saws it's just it fell over okay that didn't work all right, um, hmm, maybe. I think we might need some other, we, we're gonna have to do something. We're gonna have to make some adjustments. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to change my grabbing mechanism. I think the saw, this what I have with the saws at the bottom can work so far, but um, I need an electric engine again. Good thing I have enough materials for an electric engine. And I hope I have enough to upgrade this electric engine to max. All right, here we go, electric engine. Maxed out. Excellent. All right, I've made the adjustments and I had to wait through the night because it was way too dark to even see anything happening. Um, so the idea, here's the idea. Let me show you before I actually start trying it um, so you can see unobstructed. So imagine, imagine we're the tree right here. So we're gonna go up, we're gonna grab the tree and then we press number one. This comes out and will hopefully saw out the, uh, the stump of the tree. And then hopefully this will be grabbing onto the tree at that point and holding it above the saws. Then the saws will flip up like this, essentially creating a bed of saw blade destruction for the tree to settle down on. And then when I hold number five, all of the wheels will hopefully feed the tree down into the saw blades as it just gets destroyed over and over and over again until hopefully we reach the end. I don't know if it's gonna work that way, but now you know what the plan is, all right? <laughs> so let's try this tree right here. And I don't even know if this is gonna be able to handle the bigger trees or like, I just don't know what to expect with this. All right, man, these branches really mess with me though. All right, we go ahead, go around it. This looks good so far. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the engine on and we go down. There we go. And then we flip this up and over and now we press number five it's not working i think the branches are actually messing it up oh no ah oh, man yep it doesn't seem to want to work as intended you know what though i maybe it's the brand get off of me get off of me <laughs> what all right, this does have the added benefit that if a tree is on the ground, uh, the saw blades are perfectly capable of actually just sawing the tree 
from the ground like this, as you can see. Just, just like, look, no problem. This, it saws it like it's not, look at this. It's so effective. Look at how effective this is. So effective. What about, what about if we, no, and that's too high. All right, um, there we go. Is this how the saw blades are supposed to work? <laughs> like this? Oh no, this is not. I had uh, I had such bigger plans for this thing. All right, you know what? Let's try one of these bigger trees. Man, maybe a bigger tree will be better. I don't know why, but I'm hoping. I'm just hoping that there's some saving grace of this. Okay, here we go. Grab on. Oh boy, this this bigger tree is definitely bigger. All right, and yeah. That's looking good so far. Oh, this is so heavy. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I don't want to go down into the... into the water. Oh no, it's falling out. Okay, number two. Okay, there we go. And now number five. Feed it down. Feed it down. Oh no. There we go. There we go. See, that's how it's... Kind of supposed to work. It's not working. It it doesn't it doesn't work the way I wanted it to. Maybe maybe there's maybe there's more potential. I need two more pistons. All right, we're going back to the drawing board on this whole part of the vehicle, pretty much. All right, I finished another prototype, and of course, it's literally the middle of the night now that I'm ready to test it out uh, again. So now the idea is that I open up like this. I may need to make that open up a little bit wider, which isn't an issue. So here, we'll set these to seven. There we are. So now I'm hoping this is gonna be able to grab trees all right. So this is gonna close and then it should really contain the tree and the pistons sh should stop at whatever width the tree is. And then uh, we press number, well, we do the same thing. We go out, we saw out the stump, we turn this up underneath the tree, and then we press number five, and then all of these wheels, and I'm hoping that having the two sets of wheels like that will kind of be like a rail for the tree to be more guided in. Um, this is probably still going to be an absolutely terrible idea, but you know what, I think... I, I just want this idea to work. I want it to work, okay? It only uses two saw blades. It would be so nice if I would only need two saw blades to do this to a tree. I'm just gonna try it at nighttime because I'm impatient and I just really want to see if this thing's gonna work. All right, we got another big tree over here. I don't even think this is gonna be able to hold on to a skinny tree like that. All right, here we go. So we should be able to go right up to... Oh, let me pull the... Uh, 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 let me pull this thing back first so we can get right up to the tree. All right, and number six. All right, that's looking okay. Now what happens if I press five right now? Yeah, see, look, it's like, it wants me to like climb the tree at that rate. So that should be good, right? All right, well, here goes nothing. All right, let's back up. No, 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 no! <gasps> Do I need to make it taller? I might need to add another layer of wheels onto that thing. What happens if I press five now? Wow, these trees are just, they're just heavy, I guess. All right, well, that was another failure. Um, let's find another tree. I'm gonna add more wheels to this thing though. You know what, just for the sake of it, let's try the skinny tree. Yeah, there's no, is this gonna work? This could work. Well, hold on. I'm just on like a weird angle right now. But you know what, it might work. Let's just try it. Uh, here we go. All right, at the very least, oh, oh, this one's actually falling down. Oh, whoop, I pressed the wrong button. No, 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 don't fall down that way. Now, why is it, don't fall out like that? Oh, oh, okay, 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 hold on. All right, that almost worked. That actually kind of like did almost work, but I see the problem now. Here, can we just, can we just get this right now? Are you kidding me? I don't like the saw blades. Okay, so now, in order to prevent that from happening, all we gotta do is just put that right there. All right, I'm gonna try this one. These branches, though, I think are gonna mess us up. Yeah, I really think that the branches... Ah, oh, the branches totally messed this up. 
I don't like, we can't like do these trees with branches, I don't think, but I'm gonna, let's just do this. Let's just watch what happens. Okay, that worked well. All right, and now down. Oh! It just did the... There's, there's nothing left. I did the whole tree. It worked exactly like I wanted it to. I was so giving up on this idea. I, I'm, I really, I cannot believe that just happened. I thought this was a stupid idea and it just worked exactly as I envisioned it. All right, let's try the big tree. No, 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 not the big tree yet. This is the big tree right here. Uh, let's try the small tree again. See how the small tree works. I cannot believe that just happened. That just, I just blew my own mind. That's what just happened, is I just blew my own mind. Ready, there we go. Come on, get the trunk. Get the trunk out of there. All right, you know what, fine. We'll just do this. All right, and bring the tree on down. Uh oh, what's happening in here? This tree is too skinny. That's what's happening right now is this tree is too skinny. So it's actually, it is not being touched enough. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that still falls out. Do I have another wheel? Because I think I know what to do about that. But that's kind of, that was that was good enough. All right, now it is time for the ultimate test. We're going to do uh, Mr. Big Tree here. And we're going to see how that one works. The skinny trees, uh, they're, they're a little bit too skinny right now. But I think I can make slight modifications to fix that. But let's see what happens on the big guy. The big My big worry right now is it's going to flip us over again. Because it's going to be just too heavy. But we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. All right, flip it on up. All right, I think it's normal to, whoa, oh, okay. This isn't working quite as well as I wanted it to just yet. There we go, that's good. Oh, our thing is full, so it's not gonna pick them up, but can we at least feed it down? Come on, feed down. It's not feeding down. Why isn't it feeding down? It's because it's not closed enough. What's stopping it from closing, though? The wheels should be what stops it from clothing, or clo closing. Yeah, this is a strange one. Man, it is so heavy, I cannot help. Ugh, I, I can't not slide down right now. Look at what's happening. I might need to weld some more pistons into this thing. All right, so it worked really, really well on a medium tree. It's got some issues on the big trees right now. Um, more pistons might be able to fix that. But if we can get around the branches of a regular sized tree like this one, it worked really, really well. Here, let's go ahead and replace this with one of these ones. All right, let's see if we can have just as much success with this tree like we did with the other one. If these branches... Oh man, the branches are gonna keep us out of here, aren't they? Come on. Yeah, I can't get around the branches, man. I think I might have this one. All right, let's give it a try. All right, come on. All right, feed it down. Oh yeah, look at that. It works. It works so perfectly on these ones. And look, it's gonna go into the container. Uh oh. Oh no, now the branch is in the way. Oh no, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. And then... What? What just... What? What just happened? The whole thing disappeared, but I didn't like get any of the wood from that. That was kind of weird. 
All right, let's go get another one. What about this one up here? I feel like this one could be a good one. There's not a lot of branches on it. All right, this one's gonna work. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good about this one. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And then feed it down. Yep, just like that. Feed it down. Just like that, yes. This is working. It has a, it's, it actually has a pretty good track record with the regular sized trees so far. This is going so well. How do we make it do better with the bigger trees though? I think the piston thing might be the solution for the bigger trees. Oh, we're almost full on this one. There we go, the last little bit. And we're full. I can't even pick up that last one with it. All right, we'll pick it up with the end right there. Look at that. Look at that. That was good. That was pretty good. So I'm going to try. I'm going to make some more pistons. And I hope I have enough to make more pistons. And we're going to level them up and try to make that stronger so we can hold the bigger trees more sturdy. Sturdily. Stur sturdily. All right, it's nighttime once again. I made some small adjustments. Um, there's one little adjustment that I'm hoping is gonna help with the small trees. And this adjustment is this wheel right here. Cause you notice how the small trees were kind of like coming out of the front down the bottom. I'm hoping this wheel, which is also gonna be powered by the electric engine, I'm hoping that's gonna guide them back onto the saw blade. So even though it's a little dark out, uh, just for the sake of saving time, let's just see how we do with this. There we go. All right, and on down we go. This is actually working by itself. It's like gravity driven. It's all it's all taken care of. The whole tree is gone. That worked. I don't know if that's always how it's gonna work on the small trees. There's another one right here though, so we might as well just test it out then. There we go. Turn it on up. And is it going to be gravity driven once again? No, nope, this one's... Oh, there we go. Oh, look at the wheel. The wheel is doing its job perfectly. It's keeping them in there. And that tree has been harvested. All right, the small trees, they definitely don't give as much wood, which makes sense. All right, so now we have the big question of the large trees. But here, I think this is a medium tree. Let's do this one. Make sure everything that I've done still works with the medium sized trees. Um, I want it to be daytime for the large tree, to be honest. Activate, extend, turn up, and then, oh, that's not, it's not closing as much as it should have closed. All right, just get this one out of the way. Come on, get it out of the way. There we go. All right, now it should go smoother. All right, down it goes. Come on. It's, it's being slower this time. Why isn't it? All right, I'm seeing the sparks, but I just wasn't seeing it break up. There we go. Perfect. Why is it going so much slower this time for this one? There we go. All right, how much do we have left? It is so dark, I can hardly even see. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're almost full for this uh, resource container. All right, perfect. And that one is taken care of. I'm pretty proud of this thing so far. We can pretty quickly harvest small and medium trees with only two saw blades. I feel like this is really, really efficient. All right, so I'm just gonna wait a few minutes for the sun to rise and then we'll find a big tree, another big one, and see if um, I've added another set of pistons. We'll see if that extra strength, that extra piston strength will give us what we need to be able to hold that thing. All right, here we go. Sun is up. I am finding another big tree right here. So, ooh, ooh, that did not grab the way it should. Eh, eh, all right, come on. All right, there we go. Just like that, that looks perfect. All right, um, yeah, the, it's tough because it can't wrap all the way around these trees very well. So wish me luck on this one. Here we go. Saw blades on. 
There we are. Oh, don't flip over. Don't flip over. Don't flip over. Don't flip over. Oh, lean into it. Lean into it. None of my wheels are touching this right now. Oh, it is so off to the side. Look, my pistons, some of my pistons are fully contracted and some of them are not fully contracted. This is completely lopsided right now. Get more into the middle. There we go, there we go. That's something. No, no. Dang it. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I, I saw the issue though. This is getting tougher and tougher. These big trees are just so heavy. I don't think I have enough component kits to fully upgrade another piston though. Oh, I do. Okay, so now I can add another piston in here. Just like that. So now these on seven speed two, I think is what everything else is set to. So now we should have the power of six level five pistons holding these trees. Oh, that, what? Did I mess that up? Oh, apparently I didn't mess that up. There we go. All right, so hopefully, hopefully that makes it stronger. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't make it stronger, but in addition to that, I'm also going to add a brace right back here. And this is hopefully going to prevent what just happened with that tree coming out. All right, off to find another big tree. If this doesn't work, it's still an okay vehicle, but it just has one fallback. That looks like a really good grab, doesn't it? Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, Real two of you guys? I'm in the middle of some important scientific discoveries here. Please, 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 please. Don't tip over. Don't tip over. All right. Come on, bring it on down. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Clear it all out. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I need to angle with the tree. Come on. All right. Force it in. Force it down. Come on, come on, come on. Why isn't it? It's not, uh, it's not grinding. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's working, it's working, it's working. All right, bring the next part down. What, no, 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 no. It's not strong enough. It's still not strong enough. It's still lopsided. Come on, come on. You can see it trying to push it down, but it's caught. It's caught like right on the corner down there. We're so close to this. Here, let me get a view of this from the outside right now. Yeah, this is really, really close. Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, bring it on down. All right, it's working. It's it's not nearly as efficient as the other ones, but uh, it's, it's getting there. One side's compressed, the other side isn't compressed, even though they should be acting sym uh, symmetrically. All right, come on, feed it down. There we go. It is working. Look at that, there we go, that was a good one. All right. There we go, it just takes some, it just takes some finesse. That's all. That's weird, it's a little bit more finicky with these ones. Like, I know that obviously the edge of the saw blade should be what is in contact, but you can see it obviously works on the side of the saw blade, but um, sometimes it doesn't want to. All right, we missed one there. And that's because there's this big gap because it's not closed enough. Like, these aren't closing as much as they should. Man, this is, there's so much wood on these trees. This is crazy, though. We did it. Well, almost. Hold on. There we go. Why won't it close around this all the way? What is with the pistons? Even with this one, it's still not closing all the way. I don't know why. All right, almost done. There we go. And then we'll open this back up, and then I can probably do the other ones by flipping it over like this, and then just slowly driving into them. All right, and now we can just pick up all the stragglers with our empty one. And we can fit more than what I, I carried three resource collectors with me this time, but we can definitely fit more on this vehicle. All right, and I think this is all the wood that we've gathered from that tree. So it could definitely, it could definitely use some help 
with the bigger trees. I'm not sure what else I could do to make this concept work with the bigger trees. I could maybe, maybe make it just bigger. I feel like it's just not deep enough for the bigger trees. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we need more, more of a gap between the wheels or like a third wheel or something for the bigger trees. But then the smaller trees might be more likely to slide out. But it does work really, really well for the smaller trees. So I am happy with that. All right, so we got three pretty much full resource containers. So let's head on back and uh, get ourselves some wood. All right. Here we are. Just imagine once we actually get... Oh, too close to the other vehicle. Too close to the other vehicle. <laughs> Just imagine once we actually have our second floor built up over there and all the wood that we need to make this catwalk and everything. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a nice place to drive into and drop all of our stuff off. But I think these three containers was a pretty good haul considering it was kind of like a, you know, a test run of the vehicle. So we'll let this run. So let me know what you guys think of this thing. This is actually a it's pretty in interesting looking design, isn't it? <laughs> With the net, especially. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this. And if you want to see some other cool stuff on the channel, go ahead and check this stuff out on the end screen right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.